Like many Atlantic tropical storms, uh, tropical storm Isaac actually formed as a disturbance in the weather over Western Africa um, two weeks ago now. And it gradually moved across the Atlantic and then uh, became a tropical storm just before it reached the Leeward Islands in the Eastern Caribbean. Uh, it then progressed across the Caribbean Sea and then turned towards Haiti where it uh, caused some devastation. At that stage still a tropical storm but the winds were very strong and there was a lot of heavy rain. Um, it then progressed along uh, the north coast of Cuba and across the Florida Keys. Again, with the land interaction, it wasn't able to make it to hurricane strength at that time. It was still a tropical storm. And then eventually, over the last couple of days, as it's moved across the Gulf of Mexico, uh, and in fact, just a few hours before landfall over Louisiana, it eventually became a, um, a hurricane with winds of uh, 75 miles an hour or more. Well, Hurricane Isaac made its first landfall over uh, the Mississippi Delta in the early hours of uh, Wednesday morning and it's slowed down and it's moving very slowly over the New Orleans area and it's producing huge amounts of rainfall. Uh, we've had reports of surge of, uh, of 10 to 12 feet and, uh, and wind strengths uh, maybe near 80 miles an hour and we expect that to continue for some time because it's become very slow moving. Uh, but eventually Isaac will continue uh, on its track moving inland across uh, Louisiana and up the Mississippi Valley and as it does that it will lose its strength It'll be downgraded to a tropical storm, then a tropical depression. It'll still produce a lot of rainfall over the next two to three days over the, the central parts of the USA, but it will eventually dissipate uh, over the USA in a few days' time. There's been a lot of discussion about how Hurricane Isaac compares to Hurricane Katrina, which occurred at exactly the same time of year and made landfall in almost exactly the same place. Uh, but there's a lot of differences between the two storms. Um, Katrina had become a Category 5 hurricane with winds over 150 miles an hour. Uh, it, it, it weakened to Category 3 before landfall but was incredibly uh, devastating in terms of its uh, storm surge and wind strengths at that time. Whereas Hurricane Isaac only just made it to hurricane strength uh, just a few hours before landfall. So it is a, a much weaker storm. Having said that, we do expect uh, um, a large amount of rainfall, storm surge, and uh, a strong winds, but uh, nothing like we saw with Hurricane Katrina seven years ago. Well, we're now reaching the peak period in uh, Atlantic tropical storm activity. That normally occurs late in August and through September. Uh, and we do have another tropical storm out there, one called Kirk, which is currently in mid-Atlantic. Uh, we expect it to turn away from the USA, so not be any threat from the USA, but we'll keep a close eye on where that is going in the days to come. And beyond that, there's another disturbance in the weather which could well become a tropical storm in the next few days. Over in the East Pacific, there's a tropical storm called Eilina, which is uh, um, off the coast of Mexico, but we expect it to keep moving away from land, so not be a threat to land in the days to come. And over in the West Pacific, uh, there's a tropical storm. It was a typhoon, a typhoon Tembin, which actually made two landfalls over Taiwan. Uh, and we expect that in the next few days as a tropical storm uh, to progress northwards and make a final landfall over South Korea in, in a day or two.